Good morning. I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to this very important uh, video that I have today. I want to talk about change. Change within Guernsey County. I have an article that I'll be posting today. It's entitled, Do We Really Want Change in Guernsey County? You know, I've been living in Guernsey County now since 1999. So I haven't lived here as long as many of you have. However, I'm really bothered by what I have seen. I want to share the article with you and I want to, to hopefully get some feedback from you in the community as to what you are really thinking. And the only way that's going to happen is for you to share this video with as many of your friends as you possibly can. Change is only going to occur when people actually step up and do what is needed to create that change. So let me share the article with you. Our county is growing economically, but we are in moral decay here. Nearly everywhere I look, I see corruption, where there should be honesty and integrity. It's disgusting. I mean, not only seeing the absolute blatant disrespect that these corrupted individuals have for we the people, but equally disgusting and disturbing are the many people and their responses of those in power who hold a high disregard for our U.S. Constitution, our moral values, and our legal rights. This nation was largely built upon by godly and moral integrity. But there isn't even a hint of that moral fiber any longer. Believe me, I see it every day. I'm watching our county and our people. And for the most part, they are just allowing the system to carry on its usual policies of doing whatever it wants, whenever it wishes, with little to no consequences for these injustices and wrongdoing. Why is that? I can't understand the minds of my fellow citizens and neighbors. But here in America, we claim to be free land with rights, yet we just indulge in the nonsense that our career politicians, judges, lawyers, law enforcement, children's services, and others hand us. I am ashamed of our county's leaders who are breaking the constitutional rights of every citizen here. I watched a vehicle get pulled over one day in the front of my residence, and I saw the officers throw a bag of marijuana onto the hood of the vehicle. Wouldn't you know it, they just let the guy go. From my understanding, it was because they were looking for the quote-unquote bigger guy. Is marijuana illegal in Guernsey County? Well, apparently only if you have a lot on you or you're growing it in your backyard. Our county wants to end drug problems, but yet it just lets it drive down the road to deliver that small amount. And some of that small amount goes to our children and our teenagers. Will that change the drug issues? I would say most likely not. For the past three and a half years, I've been in a custody battle in Marsha Holland's court, of which Judge Elwood is the judge. Many people don't know this, but the magistrate doesn't really have any power. But that doesn't seem to be the case here in our county. Her decisions, whether right or wrong, are always backed by Judge Elwood, whose bailiff is the magistrate's husband. I started a group called Guernsey County Parents United, as many of you know, because I saw rights being violated, including my own. Let me give you an example. DNA proves the father did not have a relationship with the daughter, yet the prosecutor in the courts won't go after who it belongs to, even though DNA shows who it may belong to due to the indicators. Where are the results? They're sitting with our dearly beloved prosecutor in his office. Why not act on it? Is it truly in the best interest of the child for this to be ignored, especially if the DNA may prove that it's a family member? Is it right for a parent who can prove with clear and convincing evidence that he or she ought to be involved in the child's life only to be denied the right to do so? It's happening right here in Guernsey County. They aren't charged because they have no clear and convincing evidence, yet the parent can have evidence to prove that he or she is innocent and yet is ignored because as in one local attorney's own words, once the judge or magistrate makes their decision, they rarely ever change it. Is that justice? <laughs> What about lawyers or judges who are breaking the laws themselves, yet rule in similar type of cases? It's happening in Guernsey County. What about individuals who are mandated reporters ignoring hard evidence that a child is being abused simply because of, and yet is being ignored simply because of who the abuser knows within the county? What about cases being fixed in exchange for personal favors? It's happening in Guernsey County, and yet you may never hear of these things. Why, you may ask? 
because we don't want to change and they don't want you to know. But the reality is people just don't want to speak up. We want lawyers who are unethical along with judges and magistrates who will do the same. I'm not saying that there aren't good ones here. I know of a few. But I will tell you this. I am ashamed of our county's legal system. I'm serious. Where the heck are all the moral men and women who will rise up and not only expose evil actions and the injustices, but remove them? I have asked this question to people on our website in the past, and even presently, but there is little to no active response. But why? Please, if you're going to call yourself a moral American, yet do nothing about exposing or doing nothing to remove them, then stop calling yourself a moral American. Stop right now. Most people I talk to say they don't want to jeopardize their case that they might currently have or are still ongoing. Some say that they're afraid of the system. Please, people, we need to get to a point where we do what is right. I myself have been threatened with vexed litigation by Magistrate Hollins and Jacqueline Dressel, only to try to keep me away or shut me up, as a judge friend of mine recently told me. But guess what? It didn't work. The reality here in America, in our county, is that the citizens don't want to stand up against the destructive evil and injustices of our system. We need to stand up against those in the power who partake in this wrongdoing. Indeed, as the Bible promises, God will bless those who do what is right. Those people seem to be hard to come by nowadays. I speak with people daily who know what is going on here, yet they turn away from exposing it. The bottom line in the reality is that if we don't stand up, then we are partakers of the injustice and the growing wickedness all around us. I'm tired of those who whine and complain, but do nothing to rid our county of blatant evil people and injustices. I'm also tired of those who have the mindset and in action believe that we compromise our way with evil. To those who think and act in those regards, you're a fool because Satan does not compromise at all with good. He just takes it all in the end. At some point, you will wind up losing everything you thought you gained through compromise. As far as I'm concerned, compromise, it's a dirty word. And in most cases, should be avoided at all costs. That's right, at all costs. This means for our county to once again flourish in moral values and fair and equal justice, as many of our founding fathers intended, we need to get out there and start doing what is right. With our voices raised loud and clear, and annihilate the immoral injustices that we see every day around us. You know, you can choose to either stand up now, fight and remove evil wrongdoing and injustices, or you can choose to just remain in doing nothing and do as some people have shared with me, move out of the county. That's fine. But my question is, <laughs> you can run away from the battle. But tell me, where will you run? Where will you hide? Do you really believe in your heart of hearts that injustices will not find you at some point? My friends, there is nowhere to run to. There's corruption every day. I remain here in Guernsey County to fight evil and injustices and to be the voice of the unheard, not to lay down before them or impeasing them through compromise. I want to challenge you today. You must decide today. That's right, today. Will you speak up? Will you speak out? Will you decide, will you continue to do nothing or run away like a coward in attempting to compromise? If so, then you are 100% unacceptable. Folks, let me be blunt about this. It's that time. If it takes an opportunity in Washington, D.C., like myself and James Aspad, or in Columbus, like Janice and myself have had, or a local government office, or a court building, or even getting your sorry butt off that recliner and writing an article to get your story out there, or attending a meeting where people are standing up against injustices, whatever it takes to make our life better and our county right, you need to do it. Get with others just like us at Guernsey County Parents United and Parents United and do it. Do it right now. 
because the immoral injustices are happening every day and you need to be steadfastly behind in your just actions, behaviors, and your attitudes in rescuing this once again great county that we call Guernsey County from the hands of those who are ruining it. We the people must stand together to make this change happen. My prayer today is that this article will motivate people and this video will motivate people to start doing what is right. We have too many naysayers and we have too many people that are just sitting there doing absolutely nothing within our county. Heck, I'll be honest, there are people that are part of our organization that are doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Let's get to a point where we sit there and we say we're tired of it, but yet we're not doing anything to stop it. We're not doing anything to create that change. I can tell you this, we at Guernsey County Parents United, although a small core group that continue to be faithful, we are going to do everything we possibly can to continue to expose the injustices. There are five phases to what I'm going to share and expose over the next several weeks and month or two. This is phase one. I'm not going to share the other phases, but I will share this. This article and this video don't even come close to what is going to happen. I'm making this very clear. If the system does not want us to quote unquote attack them, then the system needs to begin to do what is right for these children. As I've sat here in the last several days and I've heard an individual tell me about the situation that he's in, a caseworker has put a child into a a more difficult situation because they didn't want to take the time to thoroughly investigate. Now mind you, I know just from looking around us that many of us are walking into the courtrooms today who are being 100% honest and it is the liars who are believed. And yet you, the honest person, can have all this evidence in front of you and yet you'd be totally ignored. My friends, I want to challenge the system because I know you're watching. I know you're watching the video, I know you watch our site, and everything that I say, I can tell you, I assure you, Magistrate Hollins, Magistrate Jones, Judge Elwood, Judge Moorhead, Children's Services, any other organizations out there that are critical of what we're doing, start doing what's right. Start doing what's right, because if not, I guarantee you, we are going to do everything in our power to make sure that this change happens, and happens soon. I will tell you there are other elements of our phase that do not include me, but there are other individuals who are out there fighting for what is right. Folks, simply put, we need to be determined to continue to do everything we possibly can in Guernsey County to stand up for what is right. My question today is, do you really want that? Are you determined to help those in Guernsey County to do that? Are you going to continue, like I said, to just sit on your butt and do absolutely nothing? Well, then I say, don't complain and don't be discouraged or upset whenever you yourself become a victim in this system that is unjustly ruining people's lives. I want to challenge each of you to think about these thoughts. This 15-minute video was meant to challenge people, to inspire people, to realize that, listen, you're not the only one out there. Many people feel that there's nobody else out there. They're not listening. Well, here's the reality. These politicians and these lawyers and these judges, they're going to continue to work in this community. They're going to continue to be running for offices again. And here's the reality. If you speak up and you take a stance, then change will happen. Why? Because their votes are not going to matter if more people are standing up and saying, you know what, what they're doing is wrong and it is time for change. I can tell you in working with the National Forum for Judicial Accountability, one of the things that we have discussed is that public confidence is critical for these people's lives. I'm not here to ruin lives, but I am here to make sure that justice is served. I serve a just God who tells me that we deserve a right, a, a fair, just system. 
Well, obviously he is our great judge. But we have to go with what we have now. So I want to challenge you. Make today the decision to commit to change. God bless. Have a great day.